What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm gonna to be looking at a feature that I envy quite often when I go back to Android phones. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my iPhone, but when I go back to something like the Nexus 6 or some of the other Android devices out there, I really miss that wireless charging. So what if I told you it's really cheap and simple for you to add wireless charging to your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus? So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. Let's take a look at a charging kit that can bring Qi wireless charging directly to your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. All of these products separately or together in a wireless charging package will be linked in the description section below so you can check it out. So the first thing you'll need to get is the charging receiver module and they also have a case available that is available in a ton of different colors and I will show you those later on in this video. And the third thing that you'll need to get is the wireless charging base so you'll be able to charge your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. The packaging looks a little bit different for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but the functionality is exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it on the iPhone 6 Plus to save a little bit of time, but the installation and everything is exactly the same for both phones. So here is the wireless charging receiver and it's very thin, it's small, it's really lightweight. But the one thing that you will notice is that it does take up the lightning port of your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus because it has to have a way to communicate the wireless charging on your phone. So really easy to do right here. You plug that in. There's a little bit of an adhesive on the back of this module. And all you have to do is just push down a little bit to get it to stick on the back of your iPhone. And that's literally it. Super easy installation. I showed you this earlier in the video, they do offer a case, it's really easy to install. So once you install this case, then that hides the wireless charging module so it doesn't look like you have it on there at all. So here's a closer look at the case with the module put on and to the naked eye, you really can't tell that it's on there besides one thing and I'll show you that in just a minute. But this case is very similar to the Apple leather case if you've ever used that before. The cutouts are there as you need it for the camera, the Apple logo on the back, and also for the mute toggle switch, but the other buttons are covered. Now on the bottom and top, it is exposed so you can get to your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and your speaker, but you will notice that little bit of a protrusion there, but it's not very big on the lightning port. So I just wanna let you know that was there, but you can see even in this macro shot, it is very, very thin. So I didn't really find it to be a problem. Even though that the power button and volume rocker switches are covered, the tactility is not affected by that whatsoever, as you can see here. So I like the way that it feels in the hand. It's got some texture to it. It's not leather, but does have a little bit of a texture to it. Now there's one thing that you will notice on these cases with this module put on is that the module is a little bit thicker in one point. So it will create a little bit of a hump on the case itself. It's very minor, but I want you to know that it was there because of that module module. The use of thicker cases is not as noticeable. Now here is the wireless charging dock. It is not adjustable. It's fixated in one position, but it's very simple. It has a micro USB input to the back and that's literally it. And it's made out of plastic. And on the bottom, it's got four rubber little feet on there so it can get you some grip and traction on your desk when you put it on there. And on the front, you will see a little battery sign there. It does have some LEDs so it will change color when it's charging and when it's not charging. So very easy all you have to do is plug in your micro usb cord right in the back and that's literally it all you have to do is take your iphone 6 or iphone 6 plus now and just put it right there and that ledge does a good job of holding it and now you are wireless charging it's ridiculously easy how you can add wireless charging to your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. So you can see right here that if you have a case of your own and if you're wondering if this charging module will work with thicker cases, then have no fear. It does work without a problem here. And this is the thickest case that I can find in my arsenal here at the house. And you can see that this is a wallet case. So you know how thick these things can get. And I thought it was not gonna work, but as you can see here, no problem with the wireless charging on even the thickest case that I could find. Mind. So the wireless charging base, if you were really interested in that and like the way it looks and you have any other Qi wireless charging compatible device like the Nexus 6 or Nexus 5, you'll have no problem using this as well. So what do you guys think about wireless charging for your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus? Even though it doesn't charge as fast as your wall plug, I think it's very convenient for those quick charge times. And if you are interested in it, then check the links out in the description section below. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.